Today on the Bass Channel, we're talking about the BP-1 Compact Bass Preamp, and more importantly, the all-new BC-1 Bass Compressor. All right, hello again and welcome back, or hello for the first time and welcome for the first time. Signal Chain is as follows. All tones you're gonna hear in this video were first recorded directly using a radial JD7 into a Tascam Model 16 and straight into Logic Pro 10. It is then reamped back out of that radial JD7 into the BP-1, then the BC-1 compressor, and directly back into Logic Pro 10 with a Tascam US 2020. <laughs> Alright, so because it's old news in relation to the BC-1 compressor, let's start by touching on the BP-1 compact bass preamp. The BP-1 compact crams the essence of Caveman's BP-1 bass preamp into a compact stomp box format that gives you the core tone and extremely low noise level at a much smaller footprint. The BP-1 compact adds that critical definition in the low mid part of the sound, making your bass sit in the mix with ultimate definition and tons of dynamics. On the rear panel, you will find the standard quarter inch input to plug your bass into, along with a balanced XLR DI output to go to front of house or your mixer. But in case you want to run this into the back end of an amplifier, there is also a quarter inch amp out. You'll find a send and return for your effects loop, a tuner out, and a 12 volt DC 400 milliamp center negative power supply input. And just one quick thing to note, the effects loop is a series loop and is placed after the input buffer, but before the actual bass preamp. And on the front side, you have a mute switch, a gain control, and a level control. So simple, a caveman could do it. Now here's where things get a little more interesting because this next pedal is brand new as of the day this video is being released. The BC-1 bass compressor is not quite like the standard bass compressor pedal that you're used to. You could say that most bass players use a compressor pedal as an effect by placing it in between their bass and their amp. However, as some of you may or may not remember, I have previously advocated for the idea of a master compressor at the end of a signal chain just to tame the overall dynamic or keep your dynamics pretty even if you do kick on some other kind of effect that may or may not spike your signal. 
And that's where this pedal comes in. This BC-1 pedal is designed to be a master compressor at the end of your signal chain. It's a compressor that tames and gently shapes your overall dynamics, giving you a bass tone that makes you sound better by sitting in the mix bed. one is a 100% analog master compressor that makes the output of your bass more even and brings out much more small nuances in your playing. And as far as I know, there really isn't another compressor that's designed to handle the signal level required to function as a master compressor. Most, if not all, of the compressor pedals that we've come to know provide an unbalanced instrument level output. So when you use the line in on the BC-1, you're kind of in that balanced line level territory. In fact, Caveman themselves think of this more like a high-end rack compressor that you would use in a studio, but disguised in a pedal built for touring. <laughs> So running down the controls from left to right, we have a threshold knob that sets the point where the compression starts to kick in and is adjustable from minus 20 dB to plus 20 dB. The attack knob determines how fast the compressor kicks in. It's adjustable from 0.1 milliseconds to 25 milliseconds. Another cool feature that you don't often see on compressor pedals is the release knob. This one determines how long the compressor should hold on to the signal. It's adjustable from 100 milliseconds to 1.2 seconds. The level knob, of course, sets the overall output level of the BC-1, and the boost knob sets the overall output of the BC-1 when the boost is engaged. If you boost the signal before hitting the BC-1, the input will, of course, increase, which will make the BC-1 compress more. Conversely, if you reduce the signal before the BC-1, the unit will naturally compress less, which is the main reason for having the boost control and foot switch in the first place. It gives you an option of having two different output levels with the same amount of compression. Now, although this is designed to be kind of an end of the signal chain master compressor, obviously you can use it as you would a normal compressor pedal between your bass and amplifier or anything else you may have in your signal chain. So in this example, I'm using the same two pedals. I've just kind of flipped the order. So it's going bass into the BP-1 and then into the BC-1 compressor and then direct out. <laughs> the back panel, of course, we have a quarter inch instrument input, but we also have a balanced XLR line in. So in this particular video, I'm going into the BP-1 with a straight quarter inch, XLR out of the BP-1, XLR into this compressor, and then XLR out to the interface and into Logic. Switching between those two inputs is done with the instrument and line mini toggle switch, whereas the series parallel switch selects if the compressor is in series or parallel with the dry direct signal. <laughs> Thank you. 
you've got a balanced XLR DI to go to front of house or your DAW, an amp out for of course feeding your amp. There's a ground lift for the DI output and this pedal accepts 12 volt DC with a draw of 200 milliamp. So that just about wraps it up on the BP-1 compact bass preamp and the BC-1 bass compressor. Like I said a minute ago, I love the idea of an end of the signal chain master compressor and as far as I can tell, I mean I haven't really seen any other compressor pedal on the market that's been designed and marketed in this kind of a way. Obviously you have rack mount compressors and like real compressors that are designed to be that, but as far as a pedal board friendly format, a compressor with a line in, like an XLR line in designed to handle all of your signal chain is really cool. Now, it might be a little bit pricey for some, I don't know what your budget is, but in my opinion, just the little bit that I've got to use it here, I think it's a pretty good investment because I've been in situations where I've needed it at the end of the chain. I've needed some compression at the end because you kick on a certain effect and maybe your signal spikes or, or maybe Maybe even it's as subtle as just like a like an EQ spike that just makes it feel louder. This BC-1 seems to, like they say in the literature, but it's true, like it's, it's a relatively subtle compressor where, as you heard, we did get some pretty squashed tones out of it, but nothing extreme as you'd find in a normal sized bass compressor. You know, the, the ones that we've come to expect to find on, on pedal boards. This one did a really good job at just kind of mildly, gently, subtly, synonym, taming those dynamics while not bringing up the noise floor in a way that you hear all this static and hiss and electrical noise along with your awesome signal. <laughs> So if you're interested in checking this out or their BP-1 or any of the other products that they have to offer, the website link is down below to Caveman Audio and you can check that out and all of their products for yourself. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you hated it, give it a dislike. If you wanna see more, hit subscribe. And if you don't wanna see any more, hit unsubscribe. There's all sorts of ways for you to interact down below. The comments are another big one that are kind of a give or take for me, but hey, you know, it helps the algorithm. So. Thank you all for watching and I will see you whenever it is that I see you.